Since ancient times, the Japanese have believed that a life force resides in all creations. Valuing and caring for the things we use, a zero-waste life. Pointing the way to better living for a new era. Western Tokyo, a quiet village far from the heart of the city. Here, a field was recently cleared for planting. It's the work of Sawayanagi Naoshi, the result of two years' hard work. They'll yield crops even in winter when the harvest season has passed. Sawayanagi strives to recreate a natural ecosystem in his fields. Using no chemical fertilizers, his method of growing vegetables is as hands-off as he can make it. To make it all happen, he uses something rather unusual to enrich the soil. Worn out clothes and scraps from clothing production, only natural materials buried in the ridges between furrows and returned to the soil. In some ridges, this process is well advanced. やぶれるというよりかは溶けているような感じなんですよね。服の一生を最後まで見れるので、最後まあ土葬じゃないですけど、自分の中ではそこまでやるっていうところは、やっぱりこだわってやってるそうですね。Sawayanagi, observing clothing at its end of life, is actually a fashion designer by trade. Clothes making inevitably generates waste, scraps of fabric that have to be thrown away. In an effort to return such waste to the soil, Sawayanagi has created his own brand. Starting two years earlier, he's already released a number of original products. The designs are refined, yet simple, 
All the material from the thread used for stitching on down is 100% natural, so it won't harm the soil. A stretchy skirt made of 100% cotton. In place of synthetic elastic, it's beautifully woven, like origami, so it clings to the body's curves. No chemical dyes are used, and it retains the original colour of the natural fibre. Every Sunday is field work. His friends come along to help out. <laughs> Hidota Takuya, Sawayanagi's business partner, is in charge of work on the field. <laughs> to create the ideal soil for breaking down cloth, Hidota studied soil microbiota. <laughs> <laughs> the microbes needed to break down clothing can actually be seen with the naked eye. The white patches on the inside of this bamboo are a type of organism called filamentous fungus. Winter is the time to enrich the soil. Today, they'll build up new ridges in preparation for spring. They cover the raised earth in scraps of clothing, all told about five kilograms worth. The fungus laden bamboo is placed on the freshly turned soil. Then a layer of straw, food for the microorganisms. Yeah. 
Finally, a cover to prevent everything from blowing away. Making clothes and returning them to the soil, such a project is almost unheard of, and it had its beginnings in the discomfort felt by Sawayanagi in his place in the fashion industry. While attending fashion college at the age of 20, Sawayanagi made his debut as a designer. Building name recognition at fashion shows and getting work from various brands, he was faced with the stark reality of mass-produced fashion. It was then that he met Hirota through a mutual friend. Hirota was general manager of the Japanese office for an overseas firm. When Sawayanagi asked him for business advice, he discovered the shocking truth behind the fashion business. They set out to create products outside the fashion cycle, hitting upon the idea of clothes that return to the earth. Sawayanagi re-examined fabric for clothing from the perspective of decomposition in soil. Hirota quit his job and, using his experience studying agriculture at university, began to re-examine the life cycle of soil microbiota. Through this, they developed their line of clothing that returns to the soil. One person especially loves their brand. Farmer Shimizu Chiharu. The clothes are actually long-term rentals, rented at below the sales price. After being worn, it's expected to be returned to Sawayanagi and Hirota's hands, ensuring that it will be returned to the soil. ちゃんとこう最終的な行き先が決まってる安心感みたいなものはちょっとありますね。